Why do Catholics confess their sins to a priest rather than going directly to God? My quick answer would be because it is a command from God. The Gospel says, The Father sent Jesus with the authority on earth to forgive sins. But the Pharisees were asking, Who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Interestingly, even today, People are still asking the same questions as the Pharisees. You have heard them say, Priests are human. Why forgive sins? Of course they are. But if you go to the letter to the Hebrews, it says, Every priest is taken among the people to represent them in matters related to God. He is able to to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray. Since he himself is subject to weakness, therefore he offers sacrifices first for his own sins, and then sins of the people. And no one can make himself as a priest unless he receives it when called by God, just as Aaron was. Nonetheless, as the Father has sent him, Jesus also sent out his disciples. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Why did Jesus give the apostles the power to forgive or to retain sins? if you were not expecting them to confess their sins to them. Okay, look at it from this angle. How could they forgive or retain sins if no one was confessing their sins to them? The authority on earth to forgive sins is God-given, and it's one of the missions every church should be able to perform through its ministries. And since asking for forgiveness is not a simple thing, we get these arguments. God knows I'm sorry. Isn't that enough? Or why should I confess my sins to somebody when I can go directly to God? If you check the scriptures very well, you realize that it says confess your sins to one another. The letter to Ephesians says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And on this one, this command applies to you and me. Therefore, let us be ready to forgive others because we also ask for forgiveness. The letter of James says, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. By the way, did you know that the priests, bishops, even the Pope go for confessions? The priests themselves are also called to not only listen to people's confessions, but also to confess their sins to others. When Catholics confess their sins to a priest, we are simply following the plan laid down by Jesus Christ. He forgives sins through the priest. It is God's power, but he exercises that power through the ministry of the priest.